Ladies and gentlemen, here comes another yummy series. Hello, lovelies. On today's episode, we have Patty Jollof Rice with Goat Meat. This is absolutely delicious. If you want to know how I made this, keep watching. Please click the like button to support this channel. Thank you and let's start cooking. To make this recipe, I will be using goat meat and tribes. Trust me, the two combination will give you a perfect goat meat flavor. And for the seasoning, I will go in with seasoning cubes, minced ginger, chopped onions, curry powder, salt, one scotch bonnet pepper for heat. How you season your protein will determine how delicious what you are preparing is going to be. So make sure you season your protein very well. I will mix the combine and allow it to cook. While that is cooking, I will blend my tomatoes, peppers and onions. I will cook it so that the frying process will be super easy. After cooking, this is what we have. I'm going to set it aside. At this time, the goat meat is perfectly cooked. The next step is to fry the meat. In my preheated oil, I will go in with my onions for flavor. Next, I will transfer the goat meat in the preheated oil and allow it to fry. Once that is done, I will scoop it out from the oil and fry the tribes, just to give it a nice texture. In the same oil, I will go in with my chopped onions, curry powder, thyme, bay leaf. I will fry for a while to build up the flavor for our patty jollof rice. Once that is done, next I will go in with my tomato paste. I will mix the combine and allow it to fry for 5 to 7 minutes. After 7 minutes, I will go in with my cooked tomatoes. And for the seasoning, I will go in with my seasoning cubes, smoked paprika and white pepper. I will mix to combine and allow it to fry. Once the stew base is well fried, I will skim off the excess oil. Once that is done, next I will go in with my well washed rice. I will mix very well, making sure that everything is well combined. Next, I will go in with the goat meat stock. At this point, your heat should be low, otherwise your jollof rice will start burning and you don't want that. I will mix to combine, cover with foil and allow it to cook on a low heat. You need patience so that your jollof rice will turn out good. At this time, the rice is 80% cooked. Next, I will mix to combine so that it will cook evenly. And for more flavor, I will go in with my butter, cover with foil and allow it to steam until perfect. Over here is the fried goat meat. I made pepper sauce to brighten it up. Look at that. It looks so beautiful. And here is our perfect goat meat jollof rice. Absolutely delicious. Look at how fluffy it is. That is it for today's video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for your love and support. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please take a moment to subscribe. Share our videos with your friends and families. Thank you and always be positive. And see you in our next video. Bye, guys.